What is your earliest childhood memory? Chances are it comes from a time when you were already a few years old. But are those memories from infancy gone? Our health reporter Pauline Chan takes a look at the latest findings. Zara Luck is 16 now, and as she goes through her childhood photos, her earliest memory is of getting her dog when she was about five. I also remember like sitting near like a cage, like a crate for the dog. Um, and I also remember it was a long drive. But the years before that, for most of us, those memories are gone. It's called infantile amnesia. And we wondered, like many other people have wondered, whether that is because the memory is no longer there, it's completely wiped out, or whether it's there or it's just difficult to access. Paul Franklin's work at the SickKids Research Institute involved testing mice. The researchers worked with infant mice who were taught a certain location. They would remember it if they went there the next day, but a month later, they would forget it. But with some mice, they chemically tagged the specific neurons in the hippocampus associated with the memory of that location. And weeks later, when the mice had forgotten it, the scientists were able to stimulate those neurons and reactivate the memory of that place. So why are adults not able to access those earliest memories? One theory is that an infant's brain is not developed enough to fully encode those early memories. Another theory? As the brain develops, you add more and more new neurons into the circuits, and they change the circuits. And, and that's what we think is causing this infantile amnesia phenomenon. That is, the, the memories are being overwritten because new uh, connections are being made. And while his research gives insight into how a child's brain creates and stores memories, the findings could have other implications, for example, regarding Alzheimer's disease or brain injuries. Pauline Chan, CTV News.